Hey everyone, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a lower back stretch routine. This is a great routine to improve flexibility and mobility in your lower back, as well as reducing tension and pain. That's right, and there is no equipment that's required for this routine, but depending on what surface you're using, you may want to use a mat. Follow along with me for the traditional movements. And I'll be doing the modifications. Now let's go ahead and get right into this thing. So we're going to the ground for the first one. We're both going to be on all fours. We're actually going to do, both of us are going to do the same move for this one. We're going to do a cat cow. So we're going to, first we're going to bring your stomach and belly button to the floor as you curl your chin up. Bring your chin, raise your chin up to the ceiling. That belly button goes to the floor and your glutes come up and you're just going to hold this position for 15 seconds, making sure to breathe, control your breathing. Good. Now in all these movements that we're doing and stretching today, really want you to take it to the point where you're feeling a stretch, but you still feel comfortable. All right, now we're going to reverse it. Bring your back up like somebody's pulling the middle of your back from a string and curl your chin into your chest at the same time. Now we're going to hold here, pulling up on the middle of your back again like somebody has a string, they're just pulling you up and holding here for 15 seconds. Again, on all of these, I want you to make this routine your own. If you don't have quite the flexibility that Claudia or I do today, that's okay. Make it your own. Breathe. Okay, let's reverse directions. Opposite, slow transition. Draw that belly button to the floor as you pull your chin up. Good, breathe. Nice and relaxed. Excellent work, hold. Good, good, good. Feel that spine stretching. Okay, reverse one more time. Again, pulling up from the center of your back like somebody's pulling you up with the string as you curl that chin into your chest. Excellent, and hold and stretch, stretch. Good, very good. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, nice. Okay, we're going to transition into a cobra. So we're coming down into a prone position. Now Claudia is going to come on her forearms where I'm going to come all the way up onto my hands. Claudia's is the easier version. I'm going to curl up with my back flexion, bring that chin to the ceiling, and breathe. Again, you decide which one of these versions is right for you and where you're at today. Breathe, 15 seconds and hold. Good. A few big deep breaths. You got it. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. Exhale, we're gonna come back down to a prone position. We're gonna place your arms out in front of you. Now I'm gonna do both legs and Claudia's gonna do one. I'm gonna do a prone leg raise. So I'm bringing both legs off the ground. I'm using my glutes on this one. So squeeze your buttocks either, and Claudia's only gonna bring one leg up at a time. So you decide which one of these two is right for you. Keep your upper body on the ground. Just bringing up your legs on this one. If you're doing the one leg version, switch legs. Good. Breathe, squeeze those glutes. You got it. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Nice, rest those legs on the ground. Okay, let's turn over to our backs. We're gonna lie flat on our backs with our feet up. So this next one, we're gonna push our pelvic bone through the floor. Now this one's hard to pick up on camera <laughs> because you really don't get to see much. We're literally going to push our pelvic bone through the ground, keep your lower back flat on the ground, and we're just pushing through the ground. So you're pushing straight down with your pelvic bone, straight down, push down. Good. So this one is going to engage your core and don't allow your lower back to to curve on this one or your lower back to come up off the ground. Keep your whole back on the ground while you do this one. Again, just pressing through and breathing. 
Excellent. Good. Let's hold this one for five more seconds. Keep pressing through straight down into the ground. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, excellent. Relax, shake it out. All right, the next we're moving into is an ISO hip up. Again, Claudia and I, we're gonna do the same move on this one. Bring your feet nice and close to your glutes. Feet are flat on the ground. Now let's press up, drive up off your heels. And ideally we wanna make a straight line from your knees to your shoulders. So get those glutes up. Don't wanna hyper extend, but at the same time, you don't want your butt sagging. So you want a nice straight line, drive off those heels and really flex your glutes and actually your abs. Even though we are working your back, I don't want you to focus on squeezing your back, but instead focus on hamstrings, glutes, and your abs. Good, and just hold. Excellent work. Again, make this your own. If you can't quite get up as high as we can, that's okay today. Everybody has to start somewhere. You can come back, repeat this routine. You get a little bit better every single time. It's not gonna happen overnight, but if you work at it, I promise you, you will get there. Excellent, let's go five, four, Three, two, one, and zero. Slowly back down, nice. Okay, arms out at our side for the next one. Let's go ahead and bring your knees up to a 90 degree angle. We're gonna do a lying leg twist stretch. So I'm gonna twist my knees all the way down to a 90 where my legs are on the ground. Stop at a 45 degree angle. So don't go all the way down like Coach Kozak is. I want you to keep your back flat on the ground while you do this one. So if you don't feel comfortable coming all the way to the 90 with your back flat, then like Claudia is doing on the 45 is great. You choose which one of these two is gonna be right for you today. Try to keep those shoulder blades on the ground. Good, feel that stretch. And if you are doing this full 90, don't just let your body relax. Still keep some tension, feel that stretch. Good. And five, four, three, two, one, other side. Of course, we gotta do both sides, keep it nice and even. Nice, good. Now, multiple applications for this routine, whether you just wanna do some prehabilitation and strengthen your lower back, or maybe you're trying to fight back from an in injury. Either way, this is a great routine for you. Feel that stretch, good. Hold tight on this one. Again, just take it to the point where you feel comfortable not to the point where you're in pain. Good. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero, and back. Nice, okay, straighten those legs out on this one. Little shake. Okay, next we're gonna do a lying knee to your chest. So we're gonna lying in position, we're gonna bring both knees into your chest. Now you might just be right here or you might be able to get them all the way in. Again, you decide what's right for you today come back and every time you do this your flexibility and mobility will improve just a little bit draw those knees into your chest pull them in nice excellent work breathe again don't feel pressured to match our mobility you make this work out your routine fitness is anything but a one-size-fits-all solution make this work out your own good Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and lower your legs back down. Take a second, stretch it out. Okay, next we're gonna do one leg at a time now. So go ahead and bring one knee up, doesn't matter which one. And I want you to keep, try your best to keep that other leg on the ground. So even if it wants to come up, I want you to try to force it to stay on the ground. Excellent. Bring that knee in, again, to the point where you feel comfortable. Getting your back from all angles today. If you have a sciatica, we're gonna loosen it up. Whatever it may be that's ailing you, we're gonna try to hit it today. Good. And three, two, one. All right, let's switch it up. Opposite side now. And pull in. Good, hold and breathe. So proud of you today for doing something about this. 
you know, so many people have an injury or, have, you know, something was wrong with their back, but instead they just get defeated and they, oh, well, I have a lower back problem. That's the way it is. But no, not you. You're taking the steps to make it better. All right. And leg goes back down. Excellent. Okay, next one, we're doing a one leg raise. So go ahead and raise one leg straight. We're gonna raise our right leg straight. Try to keep that no bend in that knee, leg stay out to the side. And just pull back as far as you can on your own. And that looks like this today, or like this, that's okay. No big deal. And you look like me, and that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on what workouts we've done this week, our flexibility is going to vary Ooh, greatly really on tight. this one. Depends on how many squats we've done this week. Just keep it straight and just pull. Good. And every time you come back, you're a little bit better at this one. Again, just make this routine your own. All right. And slowly return back to the ground. All right. Opposite leg up. Try to keep that leg nice and straight. I know it's hard. I know it hurts. I feel that stretch in your hamstrings, glutes, calves. Excellent. Loosening it up. We're going to feel so good when this routine is done. All right. Almost there. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly back down. All right. Next, we're going to do a knee to the side stretch. So bring one knee up, and we're going to use your hand up gently pull it over to the side so for this one you're going to decide what's right for you this might be enough of a stretch or you might need to pull it all the way down but either way i want to try to keep your shoulder blades flat on the ground so don't curl and twist with it but instead keep those shoulder blades on the ground that'll allow you to get that stretch in your back you decide if you're here or all the way down take it to the point where you feel comfortable today no reason to push it. Wanna, this workout's intended to make you feel better. Good. All right, and slowly return. Let's go opposite side. Breathe and stretch. Good, pull across. Those shoulder blades flat on the ground. Excellent work. You're doing great, guys. Keep it up. And let's go five, four, three, two, one, and return. Nice work. Excellent. Excellent work. Good work, thank you very much. If you like this workout, we'd ask that you please check out our Patreon page where you can find out how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this routine with us today, we ask that you also please give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss a new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts, free meal plans, and free complete fitness programs all there for you for free. And find us on your favorite social media outlet, whatever that is. If it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, we are there and we just want to connect with you. Thank you so much for working out with us today. It's been our pleasure. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout. And support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this routine with us today, we ask that you also please give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss a new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts, free meal plans, and free complete fitness programs all there for you for free. And find us on your favorite social media outlet, whatever that is. If it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, we are there and we just want to connect with you. Thank you so much for working out with us today. It's been our pleasure. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.